Coach, what do you think Georgia's offense does best? Uh, well, they run the ball extremely well, uh, you know, and the times they have thrown the ball, you can see, you know, they have excellent receivers, quarterbacks have strong arms, and uh, so uh, they give you a, they give you, a, they haven't had to play balanced football right now. Now they've been playing, you know, to run the ball, but they're very capable of throwing the ball. So it's going to be a balanced offense is what we're expecting. Are you emphasizing run fits any more than normal this week? It's every day. Run fits every day, uh, whether it's a uh, first day of training camp or, or getting ready to play Georgia. You, you know, if you can't stop the run, it's a long day. And we're always constantly talking about and teaching run fits. John, you've seen some of the best all-time running backs in the NFL. Where, where does Nick Chubb kind of rank in, in leading up to that stage? That would be hard for me to evaluate because I haven't seen him play in the NFL. You know, there's some running backs that were Details, really man. good players Details. in college that maybe didn't play so good in the NFL. I know this, just watching his tape, get up, get up. what I've seen from last year and this year, He's an outstanding back. He doesn't need much. He can make a lot out of a little. Uh, so he's very talented. Still Harris at that cornerback spot with uh, with Lament uh, Chris out? Yes. How do you think he played last week? He had like his best statistical ta tackle game since he's been here. He did some good things for us. You know, we all got room to improve, but I did thought that he did tackle well. With all the talk this week about run fits, for somebody that's not a an intense football fan and is hearing that phrase over and over again this week for the first time. What's the what's the best way to explain that to them? Well, you know, there's an A gap, a B gap, a C gap, and a D gap when you break it down at the end of the day. And when you're an eight man front, everybody's responsible for a gap. So you gotta fight to control your gap. That's the best way I can give it to you. How do you think they've responded to the preparing for more of a kind of a pro style versus the spread you've seen you know uh, our offense does a little bit of both so they do a great job uh, during the season during training camp of helping us prepare for this uh, coach Elliott uh, does it we have some drills uh, some teamwork together where it does help us how has Rashad Fenton done how did he do in his first action and how has he responded to he practice? did good he didn't have a lot of action you know but he did his job and uh, he's had a good week of practice does he is he like any normal freshman I mean uh, Probably so. I haven't been around freshmen for a while, so I would say, though, yes.